hardwood delivery. See what we have here. We have poplar, birch, beautiful small poplar, cherry. All right, let's see if we can figure out some of this costing of the wood. This is poplar, 1 by 12, um, random lengths, 864 linear foot. Over here to the mahogany, 3 quarters by 11 and a quarter. Um, random lens, surface four sides, pretty grain. But what does all that mean? So before we get started, we kind of need a unit that's comparable across the board. And usually in woodworking and cabinetry, that unit is called the board foot. And a board foot is actually a cubic measurement. It is 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch deep. So you're gonna have 12 inches times 12 inches times one inch and that's going to give you 144 cubic inches. So that's what a board foot is. And then usually prices are given in the board foot. Here in this um, retail store, they're giving it by the linear foot, so it's really hard to figure out um, what's a good deal, what's not a good deal. So let's start with the poplar. The nominal dimensions are 1 by 12. It actually might be machined all the way down to 13 sixteenths and 11 and a half, but it's advertised as 1 by 12. So that's actually going to be um, 1 inch thick, 12 inches wide by the random length. Let's say I just buy a foot of it, so it's going to be 1 by 12 by 12. This poplar, because it's 1 by 12 by 1 foot long, 12 inches, it's going to be 864 per linear foot, but also per board foot. But now let's take a look at one a little more complicated, like this mahogany. So I'm going to have to figure out the dimensions of um, one linear foot of it. So it's going to be 3 quarters and 11 and a quarter. Those are the given dimensions. And I'm going to buy one linear foot of it, so I'm going to multiply that by 12 inches. I use my calculator here. I'm going to take 0.75 times 11.25 times 12, and that gives me 101.25 cubic inches. So one linear foot of this mahogany is 101.25 cubic inches, and I know 144 cubic inches to the board foot. So if I do 101.25 divided by the 144 cubic inches, so I take that value, 101, and divide it by 144. That gives me 0 0.703. So that means there, in one linear foot, there are 0.7 board feet. So a linear foot is costing me $12.93 per linear foot. If I divide it by how many board feet that is, 0 0.703, that's going to give me the cost of a board foot. So I'm going to do the 12. 93 divided by that answer, and it gives me 1839. So you can see how expensive that mahogany is, is $18.39. Um, it's certainly not easy conversion from the linear measurement to the board foot measurement. Maple, white grain. All right, let's take a few more. Uh, these will be a little bit easier to understand and see. All three of them are the same variety. They're all maple, uh, really nice hardwood, really white in color, super hard grain. Let's look at this first one. So if it's one by six, and we're looking for a length of a foot, we're gonna multiply it by 12, and we're gonna get 72 cubic inches. One linear foot is 72 cubic inches. We're going to take that 72, divide it by 144, and that's how many board feet a linear foot is. So 72 divided by 144 is 0.5. Then we're going to take that $9.39 per linear foot and divide it by the number of board feet it is. So we're going to divide it by the 0.5 board feet, 9.39 divided by 0.5, and it works out to be 1878 per board foot. It's pretty expensive. Let's go to the next one. It's the same material and let's see if it's similar pricing or not. This is now 1 by 4 by 12. So it's going to be 48 um, cubic inches. I do the same 48 
divided by 144. 48 divided by 144 is going to be a third of a 534 per linear foot. I'm going to divide it by that third. Let's see if it's cheaper or more expensive. So then I have the $5.34 per linear foot divided by the 0.33, and I get 1620. So it's less per board foot. And the reason why it's less is it's just hard to find really wide maple trees. I mean, you're just going to get a lot more lumber um, out of a log when the boards are narrower and narrower. So let's do this last one and see if the price per forward foot continues to come down. I do 1 by 3 by 12. That's going to be 36. This is a quarter of a foot width. I take that 36 divided by 144, and that's going to be 0.25. And then I'm going to take that price of 412 and divide it by that quarter and find the board foot. So 412 divided by that 0.25 gives me 1648. Didn't even make any sense. And the price per board foot goes back up. So that blows my whole theory on um, the nearer the board, the less it is. So all three of these boards are all out of the same tree. They're all the same maple. Um, they all come in random lengths. If you want a six inch wide board, you have to pay 1878 a board foot. But if you get a narrower board, um, it's a little bit less per board foot. And then if it's even narrower than that, the price jumps up a little bit again. The only reason I could think of that is that this is the most common one and they manufacture the most of it and they're um, discounting it a little bit from these. All right, well, I hope that helps uh, in figuring out what a board foot is. Again, a board foot is a cubic measurement. It is 12 inches by 12 inch by one inch deep. Nominal means what the material is called by. Um, so you use the nominal measurements in finding, in finding the board feet. So if you have a 2 by 4, you know, it's called a 2 by 4, so the nominal dimensions are 2 by 4, but in actuality it's 1 and a half inches by uh, 3 and a half inches. But you still use a 2 by 4 in figuring out how many board feet it is, and then you multiply the length in inches, so if you're buying 20 feet of it, you got to take that 20 times 12, and then you take that whole thing and divide by 144, and that'll give you how many board feet the board is. All right, please comment below if this is helpful. Uh, if you if you were surprised by these numbers, I was actually a little surprised by that dip right there. Um, hardwood is very expensive, $20 a board foot. Um, the mahogany was pretty similar to that, and poplar is probably half of that because that's considered a paint grade hardwood. Okay, please comment below. Thank you for watching this video.